The next water-soluble vitamin that we'll cover is B6, also known as pyridoxine. At Sketchy, pyridoxine is represented by a parodux, and today we're headed to the arcade to hunt ducks. If you're like me, that is a sushi-loving homebody millennial, you probably haven't stepped into an arcade in a long, long time. But I'm here to say that you can finally relive those fond memories as you crush Biochem in the comfort of your cozy couch with your cool cat and a crisp LaCroix. So what do you need to know about B6? Well, B6 comes in three major forms, pyridoxine, pyridoxal, and pyridoxamine. Animal products, whole grains, vegetables, and nuts are the best sources. And just a heads up, B6 gets passively absorbed in the jejunum and ileum of the small intestine before the liver converts it to the metabolically active pyridoxal phosphate, or PLP. PLP plays a huge role during amino acid metabolism. In fact, PLP is a cofactor for at least 140 enzymes. Thankfully, you don't need to remember all of them, and we'll walk through the ones you should know. Number one, PLP is used as a cofactor during transamination reactions. If you've seen some of our metabolism videos, you know that transamination is when amino groups are transferred to alpha keto acids to make new amino acids, specifically the non-essential ones. Anyone up for toasted malts? This frosty beverage will remind you of AST and ALT, two major enzymes involved in transamination. To remind you of the more general case, we've added a whole bunch of new animations to this classic game. 